a wise man once said, once we accept that freedom is a psychological state, the question then becomes, what induces the feeling of freedom? Freedom is one of the English words that carry within it various meanings, often decided by each individual. To me personally, freedom has always meant having full control over my life and my time to chase what I'm mostly passionate about on a daily basis. My name is Omar Abu Shabab. I'm an international Palestinian triathlete and the former junior Arab champion. For the last 12 years of my life, competitive sports have always been a priority to me. Being able to travel around the world and represent my country will always fill me with pride and joy. The taxation for that, however, is countless hours to be invested in trainings and on a daily basis. But that's not all. Alongside my older brother, we are also running our own sports development company, which offers services such as coaching, testing, management, and consultation. But the main focus at the moment, however, is to finish my studies and get my bachelor's degree at the International Telematic University of Rome, Italy. Back when I graduated from high school, I did feel a little bit stuck, if I may say. I obviously wanted to continue my studies and I wanted to get my bachelor degree. However, I didn't want to compensate any other important aspects of my life, whether that be in trying to grow my athletic career or the business that I've started with my brother or pretty much just any other activity that I was doing at the time. I knew it was not an impossible task to achieve. However, I was also aware that if I wanted to balance everything off at the same time, it was going to be very challenging. Eventually, I decided to take like a gap year just to make sure that when I do make the decision of where I want to study, I know for a fact that I made the correct decision. And safe to say my parents were not so thrilled about that. <laughs> Few months into my research where I take different options and analyze the pros and cons of each and every one of them, I came across the International Telematic University that is based in Rome, Italy. I was hooked instantly, as I knew this was the right path for me. However, living in the Middle East where distant learning universities are not that common, I was doubted by many, including my own parents. I knew that it was the right decision, so I stuck with it. Fast forward into the start of my studies, I was excited knowing that I didn't take the common on-campus approach. Now, I had full control over my daily structure. Having all my lectures pre-recorded and available at any time meant that I could prioritize my schedule accordingly. Now I could multitask by watching my videos and studying while doing any other activities, such as while I'm having an indoor or recovery session at home. Or just simply study anytime, anywhere, even if I was stuck in an airport somewhere in a foreign country, which trust me has happened way, way too many times for my own liking. And now more than ever, with the unfortunate situation of COVID-19, pretty much all schools, universities, and all companies in general had to adapt to the online approach in order to carry on with their business. Which brings up the question, why did we wait for a crisis to happen in order to evolve with our life and ditch the common routes that has been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years? And now since all universities pretty much started delivering their studies online, many of my longtime friends actually reached out to me and told me that, Unfortunately, my praise of this studying approach did not live up to their expectation. To which I responded that the issue over here does not actually rely on them or on online studies. It's simply that just their university had to adapt to a studying approach that it just wasn't ready for. In my case, for example, at the International Telematic University, I pretty much have all of my lessons already pre-recorded for me to watch anytime. I've got a huge library that contains all the resources and the materials that I need and also nonetheless I do have a tutor who's available 24-7 for each of the subjects who's there to help me regarding any of my questions or if there's any issue that I'm facing. 
and on another note as well, now there are thousands of people and refugees who are leaving their countries and traveling abroad for a better education or a job opportunity. The distant learning approach provides them with the same flexibility that I've received in order to carry on with their dreams and follow their goals without having to compensate any other aspect of their life. And now with all of these points covered, we do come back to the main question of whether do I regret my decision of taking the online approach or not. Well, why don't I leave that for you to decide? <laughs>